I have been dreading doing this video. I know a lot of people like to take cheap shots at Haley Deegan because she hasn't performed in the truck series. A lot of people are calling her washed up and say that her time is done and that she needs to retire. I strongly disagree. I think she needs a change of venue. I think she needs a little bit more attention. And I do think that she actually can be a great driver. And I do think she is a great driver. But the question remains, where will she race in 2024? Is she gonna stay at Thor Sport in the truck series? Is she gonna move to another team in the truck series? Or is she going Xfinity racing in 2024? Let's talk about Haley Deegan's 2024 options today on Shifting Gears. I'm Alan Bailey, and before another domino falls in the 2024 silly season, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you come back for the next video and log on to AmericanRacingNetwork.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. So, Haley Deegan hasn't exactly set the world on fire in the truck series. She's had some good runs, she's had some respectable runs, but she's also had a lot of bad luck and she hasn't really lived up to the hype and the potential heading into her career in the truck series. Why is that? In a word, COVID. And I'm being dead serious when I say that. She came into the sport right when the pandemic hit, and frankly, NASCAR at that time cut practice. And frankly, as a rookie, I think it sincerely hurt her driving skills because she didn't get a chance to hop into these trucks and feel them out, get used to them, and create a winning setup. Instead, her first laps at most of the tracks that race in the truck series were literally lap one of the races. And frankly, I don't think she's ever recovered from that. The truck series still doesn't have that much practice at all, when in fact, they probably should. The truck and the Xfinity series are the feeder series for the Cup series. And I do think that NASCAR needs to go back to adding at least an hour, hour and a half of practice every week for these teams. Now, maybe it's a singular 90 minute practice session. Maybe it's multiple 30 minute practice sessions. I don't know. That is a topic for another video entirely. Today, we're talking about Haley Deegan. What are her real options for the 2024 season and where could she go next season? Well, obviously Thor Sport is an option. She's still at the 13 truck. They just gave her a new crew chief. And honestly, it might be the better option in the truck series. The reason I say that is because she's comfortable with them. She knows them. And that is invaluable. Yes, she does need to get a little bit more comfortable with her team at Thor Sport, but I do think that there's potential there for her to improve next season. But the fact of the matter is, in that organization, three of the trucks made the playoffs this year. Haley Deegan did not. That's a really bad look. And I do think that Haley does need more sim time. She definitely needs more practice time on the track, but I do think the potential is there. Where else could she go in the truck series? Well, Zane Smith's moving up to the Cup Series, so technically the number 38 at front row is available. Now, do I think Haley's jumping from Thor Sport to front row? Not really. I don't see that happening, but it is a potential. And if Ford is really serious about her driver development and progressing her, maybe putting her in front row isn't a bad idea. But I don't really see that happening. I think it's more likely that she stays at Thor Sport than anything. But there are a lot of rumors, and she has been very open and very honest about the fact she wants to jump up to Xfinity, and the one Xfinity race that she did run back in 2022 at Las Vegas actually did pretty good. She finished top 20 on the lead lap, kept her nose clean. Honestly, it was impressive, and a breath of fresh air for her, and I do think that there is something to her racing in the Xfinity series. You don't necessarily need to go win a championship in multiple races before you progress. You just need to get a handle on that vehicle. If Haley Deegan's ultimate goal is to get to the Cup Series one day, then probably staying in the Truck Series is a better route. If she's trying to progress as a driver, jumping into the Xfinity Series in 2024 is the way to go. But what rides are available? Let's honestly go numerically down and just go through her options. One of the big ones that is a very strong possibility, and I know we reported on this last year, and it was happening last year before, frankly, Custard blew it up, Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity Series, that double zero. There's a very strong possibility, let's just say, that Cole Custard is jumping from that double zero Stuart Haas Racing Ford in Xfinity up to the 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing in the Cup Series if... Eric Amarola retires at the end of the 2023 season. 
frankly, that decision hasn't been made as of the recording of this video, but a lot of people are saying Eric Amarola and Smithfield are done at Stuart Haas Racing and Eric is done as a Cup Series driver. He was supposed to retire at the end of last year and frankly decided he's coming back for two more years. So it wouldn't surprise anybody in the garage area if Eric Amarola hung it up after the 2023 season. I think he's going to, I think Cole Custard's going to that 10 car, meaning the 00 Stuart Haas Racing car should be available in the Xfinity Series. And honestly, Tony Stewart likes Haley Deegan. And frankly, she showed that in SRX, she can keep up with Daytona 500 winners and NASCAR Cup Series champs. And I do think that she, in that series, has proved that she does belong. Tony Stewart is very, very impressed with what he has seen out of Haley Deegan. And it really wouldn't surprise me if Haley Deegan ended up in a Stewart Haas Racing Ford at some point in the future. Another possibility is the 08 SS Greenlight Ford. It's a possibility, but this is not a stellar car, frankly. I don't really see this happening, but it's definitely an option if Haley Deegan cannot find the sponsorship dollars. It was also announced not too long ago that AM Racing is going to be expanding to a two-car organization in the Xfinity series. They currently field the number 25 Ford, so this is definitely a possibility for Deegan, and I do think that this is a strong possibility if Stuart Haas Racing doesn't work out for her in the Xfinity series. A lot of people in the garage area are mumbling that she's going to end up in this AM Racing Ford in the Xfinity series, and frankly, I do think that it is a good potential if Ford backs her, and I do think that they're trying to push her up into the Xfinity series. A couple more options, frankly, are RSS Racing. They have two Fords with the 28 and the 38 who have run a number of drivers. And frankly, it's a strong possibility. Likely, I don't really know, but it is a, certainly a possibility. Another possibility that is unknown for the 2024 season is the number 98 Stuart Haas Racing Ford. Riley Herbst is there right now, but there's a ton of rumors flying about him. There's rumors that he's jumping back over to Joe Gibbs Racing. There's rumors that he's jumping up into the Cup Series. There's rumors that he's shifting over to another Xfinity team altogether. And another one that's saying he's going to stay at Stuart Haas Racing. Honestly, I don't know. This guy comes with money through Terrible Herbst, his family's own company. He does have some pretty big name sponsors, namely Monster Energy. So I do think he's going to be in the sport in some way, shape or form. But the question is, does he stay at Stuart Haas Racing? Does he jump over to another Xfinity team? Or does he jump up to Cup or somewhere else entirely? We don't really know. Haley Deegan was quoted in saying that in order to race for an A-level Xfinity team, you're looking about four to five million dollars per year. And that's quite a bit of money. And she is definitely out there looking for sponsors, finding sponsors, but frankly, right now she's out there marketing herself, going to meetings, finding sponsors for herself. Frankly, she needs to focus on being a driver. She does an absolutely wonderful job marketing herself, doing the social media stuff, and putting her name and her brand out there. It's absolutely great. I do think that more Cup Series drivers need to do what she's doing, but I think she's so distracted by going out there and looking for sponsors right now that she can't focus 100% on being a driver. And that's kind of the nature of the business right now. A lot of these drivers are looking for sponsor dollars and Ford is definitely helping her out. But I do think it's time for Haley Deegan to hopefully land with an organization that has a few sponsors for her and one that takes that pressure off of her so that she can focus on things on the racetrack and not the business off the racetrack. Hopefully we see her up in Xfinity next season. I'd love to see her at Stuart Haas Racing, but I have a feeling she's gonna end up at AM Racing in that second Ford. But I wanna hear from you. Where do you think Haley Deegan will end up in the 2024 season? Will she be at the number 13 in the truck series for Thor Sport? Will she be in the double zero for Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity series or somewhere else entirely? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you come back for the next video and log on to AmericanRacingNetwork.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. Thank you so much for watching. For Shifting Gears, I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.